But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you, and he is Christ the Lord. Wow! Good news of great joy for all the people. God loves you and he wants to bless you. The next thing that happened is the sky split open and those shepherds in the field saw the glory of all of the angels in heaven making this proclamation. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to men on whom his favor rests. You know, many people misinterpret that verse and think that the angels were pro proclaiming peace to the world. But really, if we look around, we see that there's not peace in this world yet. There will be when Jesus returns, but what the angels were proclaiming was peace to man. You see, there was a separation between man and God. That sin separated us, and that sin caused a problem in the relationship between God with his creation, mankind. So, God sent his only son to make a bridge to repair the gap to remove the problem of sin once and for all. Jesus paid the price of the sin of mankind and the judgment of God fell on him. That way it cleared the way for mankind to have a right relationship with God. No, at that time he wasn't bringing peace on earth because Jesus himself said, I have not come to bring peace, but a sword. Actually, the world is divided because of Jesus. But what he did do is bring peace between God and man. Those who receive him as Savior, we can have a right relationship with God, and we do have peace with one another. As a matter of fact, the church, the body of Christ, is coming together around the world as one because we have peace with God and we do have peace with each other. One day the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords is going to return to this earth and there will be peace all over the world because those who have received him will be with him forever. God loves you. This is good news of great joy for all people. If you would like to receive some more of these two-minute and three-minute raw messages of God's grace, just like our Facebook page and you will receive a new message every Wednesday morning. God bless you all.